the get ready whistle for our gentlemen in the 50 backstroke, the top eight. In lane number one from the Wildcat Aquatics Club, Dominic Kubelik. In lane number two, Fox Valley Swim Teams, Grant Batilis. In lane number three, Star Swimming's Philip Aronica. In lane number four, unattached in the hot seat, Sean Fletcher. In lane number five, won the 100 backstroke and the 100 freestyle from Long Island Aquatic Club, John Wagner. In lane number six, from Poseidon Swimming, Samuel Reardon. In lane number seven, Curl Burke Swim Clubs, Philip Hugh. In lane number eight, Georgia Coastals, Preston Jenkins. So we've got the champion in the 100 freestyle in lane number five, John Wagner. The champion in the 100 butterfly in lane number four, that's Sean Fletcher. Wagner was also the champion in the 100 backstroke. But Fletcher's got some killer underwaters. Check this out. He'll go 15 meters. He knows how to do it. Wow, 13. he kind of broke out a little bit early, but Wagner had a horrible start. He's got a lot of deficit to make up here if he wants to come back in this 50. I don't think he'll have enough time. Also out well, lane number three, Philip Aronica, but it's going to be Fletcher. Taking his second win of the weekend under the flags and into the wall with the championship. Sean Fletcher, 22-29. Second place goes to Philip Aronica, 22-67. Third place goes to Grant Batulius in lane number two, 22-88. Did John Wagner have a bad start? It looked like it looked like he just got left behind. Maybe Never he went too deep or something. Nevertheless, it's all Fletcher all the way. 22 29. That is moving. That is absolutely hauling. I didn't even realize that Sean Fletcher was in this meet until yesterday in the 100 Butterfly. We really didn't notice him in the 100 Backstroke. He wasn't much of a factor. Where I mean, this meet just keeps getting better for him, apparently. Yeah, and plus it's just the 50. You know, 